what's up guys i'm host wanju and welcome back to cp channel and if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel which might be small thing for you but it means a lot to me guys so in this video we're going to be seeing about the all the leaks and rumors around the iphone 14 and we know that the iphone 14 is going to be out in september so in case you didn't know this guys apple usually launches all of its iphone series in the second week of september and yeah year after year they just launch their iphone series in the second week of september so we can possibly expecting the iphone 14 also to be unveiled in the second week of september this year also and in this video we are going to be breaking down into all the leaks and rumors like i said before so starting off with the remodeling of the iphone so lastly the iphone 12 got remodeled with the boxier shape and many people were kind of like really liking the remodel of the iphone 12 but it wasn't kind of like completely remodeled because we still had the top notch of the iphone which i think most people were kind of people wanted to get rid of because like four thousand two hundred dollars flagship like regarding the samsung or even the google pixel doesn't have that much big of a notch on the top and yeah of course we know that the phone basically functions on a face id data for security rather than depending on fingerprint sensor so in order to get uh, that much pretty much accurate uh, face data apple uses lidar sensor as well as infrared dot projectors which are basically uh, on the top notch of the iphone besides the speakers and the uh, selfie cam you also have a lidar sensor so basically lidar stands for light detection and ranging so it actually shoots some micro dots of infrared light onto your face and after reflection the lidar sensor captures it back and based on the time delay it actually makes a 3d render or 3d model of your face and with that face it matches uh, against the uh, face which we skipped been before of it and compares the both of these data and finds that whether is it a photo or else is it really your face and that's how primarily uh, iPhone fa face security functions. So that's why iPhone face security is uh, much more accurate. And in order to house all this technology into a small piece, you kind of like the top notch is really required. And if Apple was to get rid of the top notch, well, of course, it means two things. Apple is going to be removing the face ID, and which obviously makes way for the fingerprint sensor. So we can be expecting Apple to include the fingerprint sensor inside the iPhones like an under display fingerprint sensor in most like in most of the Samsung devices cause like after this pandemic situation most of the people were preferring the fingerprint sensor cause it seemed to be much and more faster when comparing to the face data as well as it was kind of like much and more easier to use in certain situations. So, I guess Apple might be bringing back the fingerprint or the touch ID back. And then the next thing which kind of like we can possibly be expecting to see in the iPhone 14 is kind of like the regarding the camera as its zoom capacity. So far, like you were you are not able to get kind of like crazy 102 zoom like in Samsung devices. Of course, yeah, like 102 zoom might, might not be really that much useful in certain situations. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of like an overkill for a phone in, like an iPhone and Apple is not surely going to be doing that cause I don't, I don't think Apple might be adding the 100 zoom but we can possibly be expecting to see at least a 15x zoom so yeah that is pretty much decent as well as it's kind of quite a useful also and the next thing around regarding the display is of course yeah like as you guys can see on the screen Apple is going to be actually making four versions as I said in my previous video the iPhone mini lineup is gonna be replaced with the iPhone max lineup so we can be getting iPhone iPhone 14 iPhone 14 max the 14 pro and 14 pro max is all the four iPhone series what we can be expecting the second week of September and so the 14 max is just the same iPhone 14 but with a bit bigger display and saying that moving on to the refresh rate of the display cause yeah the iPhones are still running on a 60 hertz display and the Asus ROG phone is kind of like rocking at 160 hertz that's yeah that's a very vast difference regarding the refresh rate and I guess Apple might be bringing back the promotion so the promotion is nothing bad which is already existing in the iPads which is kind of like basically if you're gaming or scrolling through YouTube or reading news 
the refresh rate of the display adjust uh, is adjusted to uh, 120 hertz and when you're doing uh, not all these stuff like when you're simply watching a video or watching a movie the refresh rate drops to a 30 hertz which is pretty much necessary it's just kind of yeah that's just kind of really enough for a movie and it also saves the battery life so that is nothing bad the promotion technology so i guess apple might be putting the promotion technology into the iphone as well for select 4200 dollar pretty much all phones now functions on 120 hertz refresh rate display and a next possible thing we can be expecting to see in an iphone 14 is it's is its processor so of course yeah the processor yeah apple might be either using a15 or 15z or introduce some a16 chips but i guess apple might also be using a m1 chip because yeah, now there's more likely a chance for apple to use a m1 chip in an iphone as well because yeah, the m1 chips doesn't need a fan and the m1 chips proved to be really efficient as well as powerful and Putting M1 chip in iPhone makes it really easier for software developers also because now all of their products, the Mac, the iPad, the iPhones, if everything runs on a same chip build, I guess it is much more easier for software developers also. But yeah, I'm not sure whether Apple might be doing that cause this uh, fact supports the thing it's contradiction also cause the A series is just introduced for the iPhones alone. So the series of the Apple chips are meant for only iPhone so I guess Apple might still like most likely to be sticking to its older tradition and uh, putting some A15 or A16 chip but yeah that's up to Apple which is much more efficient and so I guess that's it for this video guys so thanks for watching the video till the end and please make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like and also please do comment if you have any suggestions or queries so yeah thanks for watching the video guys bye bye peace make sure you subscribe to the channel also